Hey everybody, quick video to show a few things from some group breaks I got into with Snazilla. Got the Yankees in some chronicles and archives. Some cool stuff. First here's a nice looking Spectra. Roger Maris. And a really cool Mantle Crusade insert. Here's some of the Chronicles base. A couple of catching prospects. Austin Wells and Kevin Parada. Here's some Pinnacle. Drew Thorpe. I think he was one of the guys that they sent to San Diego in the Soto trade. Here's some Luminance. Mike Messina. I'm sure everybody knows by now, but Chronicles has all these different brands within the Chronicles product. So here's some more Luminance. Moose Gowron. And a Tristan Vreeling. Not sure how to say that. Never heard of him until I saw this card. And a Classics Yogi Berra. Select Goose Cottage. So I've always liked this about Chronicles. I get all these different brands within the product. Here's a Jason Dominguez. Vertex is what they call that. I thought it was Vanguard, the old Pacific product. But no, it's Vertex. And then was lucky enough to hit a Jason Dominguez autograph. Really nice die cut autograph card, number to 99. Didn't have a Dominguez autograph because I didn't want to pay what they go for. Was looking at some of his leaf autographs, but even some of those were kind of expensive. But thankfully, I didn't buy one of those and then ended up hitting this one. Again, just a really sweet looking card. Now here's some of the stuff from Archives, got some Jeters, a regular one and some kind of insert. Nice Judge, See, I got a ton of nice binder material here, got a DJ. Some of these with the... 2003 Tops Design, Garrett Cole, Yogi, and Rizzo. Actually, one more got a Oswaldo Cabrera rookie. Got this nice Babe Ruth insert. Another Babe here with the 1989 Tops design. It's actually Babe on one side and Lou Gehrig on the other. That's a cool card. And then hit a autograph in this break too. Got a Clay Holmes autograph. Which I did not have a Yankee auto of him. I had a Pirates autograph of him. So yeah, he's been the kind of the Yankee closer the past few years. Kind of on and off. Kind of inconsistent at times. But has really good stuff. That's like a really good power sinker. Might eventually be better off like in the seventh or eighth inning role, but we'll see what happens. Looks like right now he's going to be the closer heading into next year. So that's it. Again, just a quick one to get a stack off my table. Might do some more like this to eventually clear everything off my table. Some stacks have been sitting here for months. So catch you all in the next one.